It is time, Tanishta, to give renters and those seeking to own their own home a break. So will you now accept that the only way to deliver genuinely affordable homes for working people is to follow the advice of Sinn Féin, at the NTMA and the ASRI, and to double direct state capital investment Th in public you. housing thank to you, deliver 20,000 social and affordable homes Mr. annually Mr. until Mr. this crisis Mr. is over. Thanks, um, thanks, Deputy. The, the fact that you have to go out of your way to misrepresent what I say and misquote me really is emblematic of how dishonest and how two-faced you and your party are uh, when it comes to, 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 to the issue of housing. Um, what I said was a statement of fact, uh, but I did not say under any circumstances that I thought it was desirable uh, that uh, we should see house prices rise further or get back to the level that they were 14 years ago. And uh, what you misquoted me in saying uh, was totally incorrect, um, absolutely incorrect, and you should withdraw it from the record. It's not the first time that your party has uh, deliberately twisted, misrepresented uh, and deceived um, comments made by government ministers in relation to housing, because that's the only way you can gain traction, uh, particularly online. And it's a real shame that that's the way you behave, and it's beneath you, quite frankly, um, to misrepresent uh, things that people say in this House um, for political purposes. Um, I'm somebody who believes in home ownership. 65% um, of people in Ireland, thankfully, do own their own home. Uh, nothing to do with Sinn Féin. It's because of uh, policies and decisions made um, by my party and the Fianna Fáil party and Labour and Greens and others in years gone by. Um, but I know that's not a reality for hundreds of thousands of people uh, in this state. Uh, for whom home ownership is a dream, uh, a distant possibility. Um, and that has to change. Uh, and I get that. And the government gets that too. And that's why we've taken actions in order to help people uh, buy their first home. For example, the Help to Buy program, uh, which has helped tens of thousands of people to get a deposit to buy a home, something opposed by Sinn Féin. Uh, the Rebuilding Ireland Home Loan, for example, helping people to uh, get an affordable mortgage, uh, something that I think we need to build on uh, and make more available to more people and also the rent pressure zones, um, limiting rent increases to no more than 4% uh, in areas where rents are high and rising. Uh, and that is currently uh, under review, as you know, and we'll see what we can do more, uh, if we can do more in that regard. In contrast, Sinn Féin, your own local authorities, your own councillors in, Nor in Northern Ireland actually voting to increase the rents. That's the kind of hypocrisy that we see from you uh, and your party. Uh, of course, um, the main part of the solution, and it's not the solution on its own, uh, is more supply. Uh, more supply of more housing of all forms. Uh, social housing uh, to help people get up the housing list doesn't just benefit people coming off the housing list, it benefits society as a whole because it frees up rental properties for others, reduces competition uh, for private housing uh, in the general housing market and helps first-time buyers too. And that's why between 2016 and 2019, when my party held uh, the housing uh, brief, we increased uh, the, the supply of social housing tenfold from about 600 a year to about 6,000 a year. And now we're aiming to go higher uh, under this government, um, if possible, uh, up to uh, more than 10,000 a year, but there are constraints, and, and you, know, you know that better than most. Um, cost rental for the first time, initiated by my party, and a scary road. You'll see the first people occupying uh, cost rental properties very, very soon. Nothing to do with Sinn Féin. Uh, and this government is going to build on that, and you're going to see a lot more cost rental as well. Uh, a shared ownership scheme, which you oppose here, but you promote in the north, uh, helping people uh, to um, uh, buy affordable housing, and of course, um, supporting private investment in housing, because that is necessary, because most people want to own their own home, uh, and that means private housing, it means private enterprise, it means private developers, all of which you oppose, uh, and you would um, drive out, essentially, uh, from the housing market, thus uh, resulting in less housing supply. And for me, what was emblematic of Sinn Féin's approach was what you did in Dunabate, in Dublin Fingal, the county that I live in, not too far from, not too far from my own constituency, where for ideological reasons you voted against more than 200 social houses because 600 private houses were going to be built on the same site. You were so ideologically opposed to private, hu private housing and home ownership um, that you were willing to vote against social housing as well. And the question that I'd ask of you, do you believe that home ownership should be higher? It's 65% roughly now. Do you think it should be higher? Or do you secretly believe uh, in less home ownership? Do you want a higher percentage in public ownership and lower in private ownership? And I'd like to know that because you've never answered that question as to whether Sinn Féin believes in increasing that percentage of home ownership, more people owning their Thank own homes. Uh, and and I'd love to know your answer on that. In relation to no. your, your specific question no. We're over time. Uh, on, We're over time. Uh, on the housing budget and the budget for social housing, that's under consideration at the moment. Thank you. Uh, you know it is. NDP review, housing for all document, all Thank being considered now. Uh, and of course we want to increase uh, social Thomas, housing provision and the social answer, housing budget as much as we can. But there are other agree. demands too, and you know that. Health, education, Thomas, welfare, all have to be catered for. Thomas, there are four minutes to reply.
Thank you very much, Lafki and Corla. I have to say, uh, if ever there was a lesson in Orwellian doublespeak and dishonesty, we've just heard it from uh, the Tónista. The key problem is this. Almost every single policy that this government has introduced has pushed up house prices and rents. Help to buy pushed up house prices. Rent pressure zones pushed up uh, rent prices. Uh, and the shared equity loan scheme, which we'll debate later on today, has been criticised by everybody, including councillors in your own party. Sinn Féin is the only large party on the floor of the Dáil who year after year has said, build 8,000 affordable homes annually. And to answer the Tónisher's question directly, half of those, 4,000 would be affordable purchase for aspiring homeowners. How many affordable homes has this government delivered uh, uh, for renters uh, and purchasers in 10 years? Not a single one through any government scheme. So Leo, it is time to wake up and realise the extent of your failures. It is time to own up to the misery and heartache that you're causing you. tens of Th thousands of families you, and correct the error of your ways and invest in the homes thank that working you. people desperately reply. need Th and rightly thank deserve. You. I, 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 I note, note that I did answer uh, the Deputy's question in relation to the budget for social housing. I note that he did not answer my question. He didn't ask about to social housing. I asked about in, public in, in, housing. In to to. Surely you understand the difference between the two. I, I, I do understand deputy the difference between, between, between the two. Between the two, deputy, and, and I answered your question. Uh, and the same thing applies. Social housing, social housing is an element of the public housing budget, uh, which is a wider definition. But I did answer your question on that. It's, it's under consideration in relation to, uh, to the NDP review and housing for all. We want to increase that budget by as much as possible. Um, but there are other demands as well that we have to take into account: health, education. Uh, welfare, other infrastructure, climate action. Uh, we'll do as much as we can in all these areas, but it's dishonest to think that we can do the maximum in all areas because that simply does not add, add up. But the deputy did not answer my question on whether his party supports uh, trying to achieve 70% home ownership um, because he doesn't. Uh, he pretends and masquerades uh, around the place you pretending to be somebody. 4,000 affordable no, purchase in, homes in, a year. How many have you delivered, Tom? In, in, interrupting me. How you've, many? You've deputy delivered zero, uh, deputy. Uh, you've delivered zero, and, and, and in Northern Ireland, your shared ownership scheme is not dissimilar, not dissimilar to ours. But again, the deputy interrupts me, barracks me, he won't answer the Thank fundamental you, question that Sinn Féin won't uh, uh, refuse to answer. Do they actually agree in, 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 in increased home ownership? The Do you. they want to see 70% of people Tom owning their homes in Ireland? On no, they the don't. And if you look at their, Tom look at their, if look at their housing policy, particularly when it comes people, to affordable homes, tax for big their policy for affordable homes is leaseholds, not freeholds. If you buy an affordable home from the government scheme, you will own it. If you... Go for the Sinn Féin scheme, you won't own it. Sinn Féin wants to be your Honestly, landlord. There That's is the no truth point in having time limits. There is no point in having a, a chairperson here if we're not going to comply with them.